Tampa Bay area is now, as you know, under a hurricane watch, and South Florida is under a hurricane warning. The storm track for Hurricane Irma has continued to move farther to the west today. That puts the Bay Area in more of a precarious position. It's causing high anxiety. Makes us all a little concerned, and uh, we're going to go right to our chief meteorologist, Steve Jervie, in the Forecast Center. He has the latest on where hur Hurricane Irma is expected to go, and specifically what impact it might have on us. Steve. Absolutely, Keith. Yes, it has shifted to the west. We've been talking about that can change. It will change. I say it every time we look at the track. And that has been the trend for the models, and that's why we've seen it shift farther back to the west toward the Bay Area. It just means different things for us. We just have to pre prepare for different things, including some pretty strong wind gusts as well as some coastal effects, especially later Sunday into Monday. So let's take a look at the watch that you mentioned. That means within 48 hours you could see hurricane force wind gusts, gusts which would be 74 miles per hour in the highlighted area there, and then a hurricane warning in place. Basically, that means 36 hours for some of the southern counties, so that's the difference there, but it just means prepare for high wind gusts, and uh, we know about that from previous storms dealing in the Bay Area. If you're new to, new to Florida, this is all probably new information to you, but the old saying, run from water, hide from wind, is pretty good advice. 155 mile per hour winds is Irma, a very strong Category 4 hurricane, interacting with land a good portion of it, surprising the hurricane's center does keep it a very consistent at that same strength around the northern coast of Cuba and then taking that northwesterly turn. You can see that forecast track takes it over the central part of the Florida Keys, keeping in mind the stronger side would be on the eastern or to the right of that number five, the advancing part of the storm with 160 mile per hour winds, but you could see almost a northern surge coming around into Key West and with some strong wind gusts there as well. Sunday at 2 p.m. around Naples, that's the forecast track, and then moving over our area throughout the day on Sunday into Sunday night into the early part of Monday, and Monday early, that's what I'm talking about, that wind shift around the southern side that would bring some uh, higher seas to the west coast. Again, there's a look at the satellite imagery, a very well-formed storm. There's that land interaction. Virtually half the storm, almost, is interacting with land. That tends to take away some of the energy, but it's still very resilient in maintaining its strength. Uh, this is why they've shifted the forecast track to the west, because the spaghetti models, which are pretty close in line, have shifted west, including some of the major models. So that's why you see that official track from the Hurricane Center doing that. Storm surge potential, uh, fairly high for Manatee, Sarasota at one to six feet. Watch your high tides. Watch your high tides. Just a good uh, reminder for those that live along the water or have interest along the water. Uh, three to six feet for parts of the bay, widespread, one to three feet, and then northern areas, uh, three to eight feet, Sunday afternoon into Monday morning, of course. Water effects, always a huge deal uh, here in the Bay Area. And as that track shifts farther west, we start to work in some of those salt water effects. And, of course, that's what we have to be concerned with, as well as the wind gusts. And the wind gusts, primarily, I'm talking to you folks in Polk County, in Highlands County, Hardy DeSoto, and everywhere else, but especially those areas for the strongest winds, guys. What well, is starting to reminiscent of, of, of Hurricane Charlie when it sure starts is. moving further west, and those poor folks in Polk County with all of the wind and, of course, the water you're talking about, Steve, so much to think about and deal with. We appreciate your updates, and we know we'll have more coming up.